my business net with the other side nursery, let's talk about root bound plants today. So I have here a Dracaena marginata. It is pretty root bound. I found it like this without the pot. I'm not sure where the pot got blown to, um, but here it is. As you can see, the root is kind of wrapped up in there, but some plants are fine with that happening. Dracaenas are actually all right with uh, a little bit of root bound like this, but either way, I'd rather just repot it in something a little bit bigger and just uh, see where it goes with it. So yeah, the issue with root bound pots is that it's not able to spread out its roots to grab enough nutrients, enough water, and as you can see here, the water will probably just kind of pull up on top and then not really reach the bottom part. Uh, that could be an issue with most plants, so it's best just to kind of repot it anyway. Um, the first thing you do want to do is make sure that it's pretty wet, uh, and that is something that I kind of forgot to do here, but I'll water it immediately after I pot it up, so it should be fine, but wet your plants first before you do any kind of thing to their roots. And um, once again, Dracaenas, they're fine, they're adaptable, they can handle a lot of abuse here. So yeah, we'll go at this like this. So yeah, wet your soil and then uh, just kind of start at the bottom. In this case, sometimes you have to cut it up. This, uh, with this one, it's not really that dramatic. So you can just go at it like this. As you can see, it's already unraveling. Yeah, this is a bigger taproot. And honestly, if I break this off, it should probably still be fine. But I don't want to break it off. Sometimes you have to because it's just a mess. But this one is coming off pretty easily. Um, yeah, let's see where it's at so far. See how all the soil's kind of gone from the middle already? That's because uh, over time, water kind of flushes it out. And sometimes it just kind of decays and just naturally just mainly flush out uh, so yeah see this root it wants to stretch out usually with the big root like this it it's a type that uh, taps down tries to find different crevices and corners and then it'll spread out into the smaller roots and it's uh, smaller roots that will pull in the nutrients and the moisture Stuff like that, but with this one, you don't really have to do too much with it. I am ripping out some of the smaller roots, but that's it comes with just kind of untangling it. So I'm not like focusing on shredding the roots or anything, just pretty much opening up the roots. And generally, something like this would be fine uh, because there's enough space for everyone to grow. This one will kind of remain coiled like that for a little while, but I just want to stretch it out a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much as much as I'll take out for this specific plant. I'll do uh, root pruning uh, in the springtime with one of my plants and I'll show you that. And that one is a little bit more dramatic. Um, yeah, and with the time of the year, it really depends on the plant. With Dracaenas, they kind of grow throughout the year, so it's fine, but you don't want to do this during, um, pretty much it's more of uh, temperate stuff that you'll have issues with if you're messing around with the roots during the wrong time of the year because they have to be outside in the cold, in the freezing. Just leave it alone, do it in spring, don't mess with it. But if you're keeping your tropical plants and you want to do stuff like this, you should be able to do this any time of the year. Just avoid, if your house is um, unheated, unair conditioned, just avoid doing it during the really cold time and the really hot summer time just because it'll stress out the plants even further. So yeah, if you keep your house comfortable, um, you should be fine doing this any time of the year uh, with most plants that is. Yeah, so looking like this. So now, uh, so the original pot was a four inch pot. The root kind of shows you how big that was. 
with repotting, you don't want to go with anything bigger than uh, at most four inches uh, more than what your pot was. So if the pot was four inches, which is this over here, you don't want to go with any more than a pot bigger than eight inches. So yeah. And you know, if your pot's eight inches, you don't want to go with any more than 12 inches. So yeah, if this is your pot, don't go with anything bigger than this in diameter. So yeah, just go with a four inch roll. It can be slightly bigger, but don't make it like this much bigger. All right, now we're gonna pot it up. With uh, Dracaena specifically, it can handle a lot of different types of soil, but just kind of keep it, um, just use standard potting soil. That shouldn't be an issue. One handful in. And then of course that's not enough yet. Second handful. So, let me take some out. So, with with this root, I kind of work in a little bit into, I kind of push it, uh, I can't really show. I kind of push it into the soil a little bit just to kind of give it some room between the coil. So um, yeah, now I'm just gonna hold it up like this and then pour some of the dirt in and then shake it up a little bit so it can work its way into the soil or sorry, in between the roots. Shake. In. Shake. And what I'm doing with my hand, in case you're wondering, is just elevating the plant up so that it's not all the way into the pot and I'm trying to, or I have to pull it back up. So I just kind of hold it. Um, I just imagine where the crown would be within the pot and then I just hold it at that level. To me, that's a little bit easier then pulling it up in the end. So shake, make sure you do lots of shaking, especially when you're uh, doing anything with the roots so that the soil works its way in between the roots. That's the important part. You don't want any kind of air gap in between the roots. Shake. And keep in mind, the soil will sink after you water it, so don't don't um, don't put your plant in too deep. All right, we're approaching the original crown line where the roots flaring. So I have it here so far. Let me just do a little bit more because I can still feel the gap. Oh, I'm also using my finger just to kind of push soil into the root ball just to kind of make sure it's worked in there. And then you still want to shake it so that the soil goes into the roots. One more handful. All right. So you. Ideally, you leave some of the. Uh, ideally, you leave some of the surface root just kind of flared out, just so you can see the original where the original soil line was. Yeah. So now, now I'm going to have to water this. Um, just water it really well. The soil will sink down, and that's fine. Just add a little bit more soil. Just uh, elevate the plant up a little bit more. Um, after or before you add the soil in and uh, that should be done just leave your plant alone the best thing to do is just leave it where it was growing try not to move your plants too much just because stability is always key to a plant success um, you don't want to move it here one day here the next day every few hours ro rotate it you can rotate it um, if your plant is tilting, but usually when your plant's tilting, it indicates that there's not much light or it's trying to find brighter light anyway. So you can rotate it, but just don't 
relocate your plant and that's just a general um, rule with everything just find a good spot I mean if you feel like it's a bad spot yes please move it but try not to move it too often all right so if you have any questions please feel free to email me at info at the other side nursery or give us a call thank you very much